Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Luxury Playstyle has a great Black Friday sale going on all weekend. Use code LUXWITHPOWER to get 20% off your order all weekend long. Be sure to check out their new Angel and Goblin tokens available for pre-order. TCG Player is also having a great sale. Grab your cards from the links in the description, help support the channel, and get some awesome deals. Dragon Shield has free shipping all throughout Black Friday through Cyber Monday. Be sure to use code PWP5 for 5% on top of your free shipping all weekend long. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have our Mox Pearl patron Peter from Wizards of the Coast, piloting Kyrrhic, son of Yawgmoth. This deck seeks to use its commander to cheat mana cost by paying life so it can execute a quick combo. Peter's opening hand contains an Imperial Seal, Crystal Vein, Demir Houseguard, Swamp, Mana Crypt, Heartless Summoning, and a Diabolic Tutor. Next, we have Ryan, piloting Godo, Bandit Warlord. This deck seeks to cast its commander, equip Helm with a Host, and win with infinite combats. Ryan's opening hand contains a Snow-Covered Mountain, Urza Saga, City of Traders, Goblin Matron, the One Ring, and his land of mulligans are Snow-Covered Mountain and Buried Ruin. After that, we have a Shawnee, piloting Tibbet, Seller of Secrets. This deck seeks to control the board, land its commander, and win with a Time Sieve combo. Ashani's opening hand contains a Misdirection, Ottawara Soaring City, Misty Rainforest, Mana Confluence, War of Invention, Vampiric Tutor, and an Opposition Agent. Finally, we have Alex, piloting Kinnon, Bonder Prodigy. This deck seeks to ramp on mana, then use its commander to cheat massive threats onto the battlefield. Alex's opening hand contains a Phyrexian Metamorph, Island, Mox Amber, Mana Crypt, Crop Rotation, Flusterstorm, and a Wandering Archaic. Without further ado, let's kick off this avant-garde, avaricious, avenging avalanche. Ashani won the Nymar Challenge and gets to start us off. Ashani draws a card for turn and plays a Misty Rainforest. He passes. Alex draws and plays an Island. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Felwar Stone. He casts a Mox Amber. He passes. Peter draws and plays a Swamp. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts an Imperial Seal. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. Peter ends his turn. Ryan draws, plays a Snow-Covered Mountain, and passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Ashani cracks his Misty Rainforest, pays a life, and fetches up an Underground Sea onto the battlefield. He casts a Vampiric Tutor. He fetches up a card onto the top of his library and loses two life. The turn moves to Ashani. Ashani draws and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Mystic Remora. Ashani ends his turn. During his upkeep, Alex loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Waterlog Grove. He taps it to help cast his commander, Kenan, Bonder Prodigy. Alex ships the turn. At the end of Alex's turn, Peter pays 4 life to cast Dismember, targeting Kenan. Remora triggers and Ashani draws. In response, Alex casts Crop Rotation, sacrificing an island as an additional cost. Remora triggers and Ashani draws again. Then Alex fetches up a City of Traders onto the battlefield. He casts Flusterstorm, with all copies targeting Dismember. Ashani draws from Remora and Flusterstorm counters Dismember. Still on the end step, Alex activates Kenan. He looks at the top 5, putting an Elvish Mystic onto the battlefield. The turn moves to Peter. During his upkeep, Peter wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Crystal Vein. He casts Heartless Summoning. For more triggers, and Ashani draws. He cracks Crystal Vein and pays 6 life to help cast his commander, Kirk, son of Yawgmoth. He pays 4 life to transmute Demir Houseguard. In response, Ashani taps Mana Confluence to help flash in an Opposition Agent. It resolves, then Ashani fetches up the One Ring from Peter's library into exile. Unfortunately blown out, Peter ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays an Urza Saga, getting his first counter. He passes. During his upkeep, Ashani pays to keep his Remora. He also wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Scrubland. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Opposition Agent. Ryan takes it, and in his second main phase, Ashani taps his Mana Confluence to cast an Overloaded Dam. All creatures are destroyed, and Peter puts Kirik into the graveyard. Ashani ends his turn. During his upkeep, Alex wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and taps his Waterlog Grove to help recast his commander, Kinnon. He casts Wandering Archaic. Alex passes. During his upkeep, Peter loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Swamp. He casts Diabolic Tutor. Remora and Wandering Archaea trigger. Alex copies Diabolic Tutor, fetching up a card into his hand. Then Ashani draws from Remora, then Peter fetches up a card into his hand. Peter ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and in his main phase, Urza Saga gets another counter. He plays a City of Traders for turn. He casts the One Ring. Remora triggers and Ashani draws. It resolves and Ryan gains protection from everything. He activates the One Ring, adding a Burn Encounter and drawing a card. Ryan passes. During his upkeep, Ashani lets his Remora die. He also loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He taps Mana Confluence to help cast Ranger Captain of Eos. It enters and Ashani fetches up an Esper Sentinel into his hand. He cracks his Verdant Catacombs, pays a life, and fetches up a Godless Shrine onto the battlefield untapped, paying 2 life. He casts Esper Sentinel. Ashani passes, discarding to hand size. During his upkeep, Alex wins his Mana Crypt roll. Also in Alex's upkeep, Ashani sacrifices Ranger Captain, locking out opponents from non-creature spells this turn. Alex draws and pays 2 life to cast Phyrexian Metamorph. It enters as a copy of the One Ring, and Alex gains protection from everything. Alex activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing a card. He moves to combat and attacks Peter with Wandering Archaic. Peter takes it, and Alex ends his turn. 
During his upkeep, Peter loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and casts Jeweled Lotus, paying the Esper tax. He casts Flesh Writher. Peter ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses a life to the Wandering. He draws, and in his first main phase, Urza Saga triggers. He floats a mana, then sacrificing it, fetching up a Graf Digger's Cage onto the battlefield. He activates the One Ring, adding a counter, and drawing two cards. He casts Chrome Mox, paying for Esper. It enters, and Ryan imprints Anya's Ravager. He casts a Soul Ring. He casts a Felwar Stone. He casts a Goblin Matron. It enters, and Ryan fetches up a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. All through, Ryan passes. During his upkeep, Ashani loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws and plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Rogue as it enters. Ashani passes. At the end of Ashani's turn, Alex flashes in a Frilled Mystic. During his upkeep, Alex loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He loses a life to the One Ring, then activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing 2 cards. He draws and taps Waterlog Grove to help cast Dead Eye Navigator. It enters and Soul Bonds to Frilled Mystic. The table straps in and Alex passes to Peter. During his upkeep, Peter loses his mana crypt roll and takes 3 damage. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Ryan loses two life to the One Ring. He draws and activates the One Ring. He adds a counter and draws three. He casts Hammer of Nizan. Esper triggers and Ashani draws. It enters and equips the Goblin Matron. Ryan plays a snow-covered mountain, sacrificing City of Traitors as it enters. He casts Conqueror's Flail. It enters, Hammer triggers, and Ryan equips Flail to Goblin Matron. Finished up, Ryan passes. During his upkeep, Ashani loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts Lotus Petal. He casts Portable Hole. It enters and exiles Kennen. Next, Ashani uses Cavern of Souls to cast an uncounterable Tibbet, Seller of Secrets. It enters and Ashani creates two treasures and three clues. Ashani ships the turn. During his upkeep, Alex wins his Mana Crypt roll. He also loses two life from the One Ring. Still in his upkeep, he activates the One Ring, adding a counter and drawing three. He draws and casts a Spring Leaf Drum. Esper triggers and Ashani draws. He taps Waterlog Grove to help recast his commander, Kennen, Bonder Prodigy. After some deliberation among the table, Kennen resolves. Next, Alex casts Spellskite. After some more deliberation, Spellskite resolves. He plays a Treasure Vault for turn, sacrificing City of Traitors as it enters. He casts a Simic Signet. Alex passes. At the end of Alex's turn, Peter hard casts Deadly Rollick, targeting Spellskite. Esper and Wandering Archaic trigger. Alex creates a copy, targeting Goblin Matron. Matron is exiled, then Ashani draws through Esper, then Spellskite is exiled. The turn moves to Peter. During his upkeep, Peter wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Grey Merchant of Asphodel. It enters, each opponent loses 5, and Peter gains 15. He ends his turn. At the end of Peter's turn, Ryan casts Lightning Bolt, targeting Frilled Mystic, paying the Esper tax. Wandering Archaic triggers, Alex copies it, targeting Esper Sentinel, killing it. In response, Alex activates Deadeye's ability, flickering Frilled Mystic, countering Lightning Bolt. The turn moves to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses 3 life to the One Ring. He draws and activates the One Ring. He adds a counter and draws 4 cards. He plays a Snow-Covered Mountain for turn. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Ryan creates 17 treasures. He activates Conqueror's Flail, targeting Dockside. In response, Ashani improvises Whirr of Invention. Wandering Archaic triggers and Alex copies it. Then Alex fetches up an Arcane Signet onto the battlefield. Then Ashani fetches up an Imposter Mech onto the battlefield. And enters as a copy of Dockside Extortionist. Dockside triggers and Ashani creates 33 treasures. With the equip still on the stack, Ashani casts Mystical Tutor. Archaic triggers and Ashani pays. Then Ashani fetches up a Silence onto the top of his library. He cracks a clue and draws a card. Then Ashani casts Silence. Archaic triggers and Ashani pays. With no answers, Silence resolves. With the equip still on the stack, Ashani casts Enlightened Tutor, paying for Archaic. He fetches up a Time Thief onto the top of his library. Then with nothing else, the equip resolves. Ryan equips Hammer of Nizan onto Dockside. Locked out of doing anything else, Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Ashani channels Ottawara Soaring City, bouncing Wandering Archaic back to Alex's hand. Still in the end step, he cracks two clues and draws two cards. The turn moves to Ashani. During his upkeep, Ashani wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Tundra. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Tivit. Ryan takes it, Tivit triggers, and Ashani creates two clues and three treasures. In his second main phase, Ashani casts Chain of Vapor, targeting Imposter Mech. Mech is bounced, Ashani sacks the land, copying the chain, targeting Deadeye Navigator. Deadeye is bounced, Alex sacks the land, copying the chain, targeting Dockside, so Ashani cannot copy it again. Dockside is bounced, Ryan sacks the land, copying the chain, targeting Tivit. Ward triggers, and Ryan pays three. Tivit is bounced, and Ashani stops the chain. Next, Ashani casts Imposter Mech. It enters as a copy of Kennen. He casts Transmute Artifact. He sacrifices Portable Hole, fetching up a Witchclaw Talisman onto the battlefield, paying the difference. He activates Witchclaw, fetching up a card into his hand and giving Witchclaw to Peter. He casts Grand Abolisher. With no answers, Abolisher resolves. Ashani taps Mana Confluence to cast Time Sieve. He recasts his commander, Tibbet. It enters, and Ashani creates two clues and three treasures. Ashani activates Time Sieve, sacrificing his Mana Crypt and four treasures, getting an extra turn. Ashani presents a loop of taking extra turns, attacking with Tippet, creating artifacts, then sacking them to Time Sieve to take another turn. He does this over and over, until the table is dead, and Ashani wins the game.
Ladies and gentlemen, what a match. Congrats to Ashani on his win. He masterfully navigated this entire game. He knew when to act, when to hold back, and when to go for the win. He is a master of this deck, and it showed off beautifully tonight. The most valuable card in tonight's game, sponsored by Luxury Playstyle, goes to Frilled Mystic. At first you might ask, wait, this never really did anything, but it actually did so much more than at first glance. Once Alex had this under Deadeye Navigator, everything about the game changed. Every single spell cast was met with deliberation, discussions on priority, and how the rest of the table can beat the engine he had online. Everything had to be done with the knowledge that any time Alex could counter the spell in question. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.